Welcome back. Now in this lesson, I'm going to show a brief example of how to use Crew AI in order to build a very simple agent. Now Crew AI enables multiple AI agents with different roles and skills to collaborate as a team. This teamwork approach allows AIs to tackle complex tasks and applications more effectively than individual agents. Now the first step is we're going to head over to Google Collab. Now this will allow you to write and execute Python code in your browser. The reason for using Google Collab, it's like a pre-made dinner. Just pop in the microwave and you're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on File and New Notebook and we're ready to get started. Here in the code, I need to add explanation point, pip, install, that Q and crew AI and hit run. Now, once it's done, I'm gonna click on add code and it'll be just another pip install. Click on run. Next, we're going to set up a environment variable. Now, this is just a user defined value, which will be used within our notebook. Let me just show you. I've opened up notepad and the environment variable in this demo is going to use two keys. We're going to have an open AI key and a super API key. Now you've heard of open AI, but just in case the super API key is a low cost Google search API provided by server.dev. Now you can see here, this is just a simple notepad. And what I want to do is I can save this file, save as, like say, dot env, all files, and then just click on save. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our open AI key. So I'm going to copy, paste, and we're going to come over here to platform.openai.com slash API keys. So I'm going to create a new key. I'm going to call this demo two. create a secret key. I'm going to copy this and here on my notepad, I am going to paste it here. I hit done. Next, we're going to go to serper.dev login. You can sign up for free. And once you're signed up, just come over here to API key and copy the key again, right here. I'm going to paste this and I will have my server API key back at our Google collab. I'm going to open up this folder and what I want to do is drag and drop my file, which is that dot env right in here. Hit okay. Next we'll hit code and we're going to load our file. Now hit run. Okay. We're good there. Next, we need to import the OS from QAI, which is used for directory and file manipulation. So I'm going to hit code, paste. Now we have our code here. Hit run. Since we imported the serper dev tool, we're going to assign it to a simple variable name called search. So I'm going to click on code and you'll hear search underscore tool and I'll make it equal to my server dev tool. And I'll hit run. Now, next we're going to import OpenAI from Langchain. Now the reason it's a good tool to connect multiple language models and tools together. So I am going to copy some information here, go to code and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to run it. Now we're ready to create our agent. So I'm going to click on code and I'm ready to find my agent roles and goals. So here I'm going to create a life coach, which is this agent. And the role is he's an experienced life coach, he or she. And the goal is to look up the latest live productivity hacks. And the backstory is you're a live coach like Tony Robbins and your expertise lies in finding live productivity hacks to help people. So next we also have verbose equal to true. And the reason why I've set to true is it'll allow to give detailed output where if I had it set to false, it would give minimal output. We set our delegation to false. And the reason is we don't want our life coach to delegate that research to another life coach. For tools, you'll see that I added search tool to be able to conduct research on the web. Finally, we add the LLM, which we can find in the open AI key documentation. So if I click back here, open AI platform, I come here to docs and I'll just search for models. Now scroll down and you can see here's all the different models that can be used. So I'm using GPT-4 Turbo Preview. Now I also set the temperature to 0 0.2. Um, in this case, it's not creative. The range is 0 to 2 and the default for OpenAI is 0 0.7. 
We want it more focused. So that's the reason why I have a low number. Next, we're gonna add a task we want our agent to perform. And I am going to, after I hit run, oh, and close parentheses. Now hit run, now hit code. Now we're gonna create the task. So our task, conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest life hacks for 2024, identify key trends, insights, and personal growth hacks. Our expectation, a full analysis report in bullet points, and our agent is our life coach. So now I hit run. We need one more line of code. Click on here. So now I'm gonna set my variable crew to the life coach, the task, and verbose equal to two. Hit run. And the last line of code to get our output. So we're printing the result, hit execute. And our little engine runs and scours the internet as requested. And we can now take this information and copy it. Come over to one of the chatbots like Claude. And I can say, rewrite the following in a clean and easy to understand bullets. All right, shift, enter, I'll control V to paste. And now we have some life hacks for Twitter post, LinkedIn or other mediums. So if this was useful, I appreciate a like on the video and possibly subscribe. This helps get the video out to others for further education. You can always join us at the Knowledge Star where we have a free AI community and a team of developers ready to bring your idea to life. We focus on hope, helping one person every day. Talk soon.